Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics lecture. Today's topic is divergence of a vector point function. See what is the concept? This uh, divergence of a vector point function. This topic is from fifth unit vector calculus. Let f bar is equal to f one i cap plus f two j cap plus f three k cap be any vector point function defined in a certain field. Then del dot f bar. del is the vector quantity and f bar is also a vector quantity now del dot f bar the dot product of two vectors the first bracket term is the value of del we have already discussed in previous lecture the del vector about del vector del operator it is also uh, called gradient of it is also called gradient now this is the formula of del Operator del first bracket term and second bracket is uh, the vector f bar components of vector f bar f one i cap plus f two j cap plus f three k cap now dot product of these two vectors now i cap dot i cap is one so therefore the multiplication of the coefficients of the first term derivative of f one with respect to x dabba by dabba x of f one De, del f1 by del x second term j cap dot j cap is 1 therefore del f2 by del y the multiplication third term k cap dot k cap is 1 so derivative of f3 with respect to z del f3 by del z so this is the dot product of two vectors del and f bar it is a scalar quantity it is not a vector dot product of two vectors is always a scalar quantity which is a scalar point function called the divergence of f bar and this is called divergence of f bar del dot f bar any vector f bar into that operator del gives a scalar quantity and it is called divergence of that particular vector means diver here the vector is f bar so divergence of f bar if this dot product is zero del dot f bar is zero means divergence of f bar is zero then f bar is said to be solenoidal Then f bar is said to be solenoidal. Now next is concept is curl of a vector point function. Let let f bar is equal to f one i cap plus f two j cap plus f three k cap be any vector point function defined in a certain field. Then del cross f bar. You know the cross product of two vectors. If there are two vectors and if we take the cross product, then it it is always given by the determinant first row. I cap, J cap, K cap, unit vector, second row, the coefficients of the operator del. You know the formula for del. See here, this is the the first bracket term here is the operator del. Its value, del operator value. It is and the coefficient of I J K R here, del by del x, del by del y, del by del z. So here, while finding the cross product of two vectors del cross f bar the second row is coefficient of the first vector del then third row the coefficients of f bar the vector f bar components of f bar we have the components of f bar are f1 f2 f3 so the third row f1 f2 f3 now you solve this determinant you will get del, del cross f bar which is a vector point function and called the curl of f bar if we solve this determinant we have a vector this del cross f bar is called curl of f bar If del cross f bar is zero, then f bar is said to be irrotational or conservative. In this case, there exists a scalar point function phi such that f bar is equal to del phi, where phi is called a scalar potential of f bar. See, if del cross f bar is equal to zero, then f bar is said to be irrotational. Or it is also called conservative. In this case, there exists a scalar point function phi such that f bar is equal to del phi where phi is a scalar a scalar potential of f bar the formula for obtaining scalar potential phi for an inter for an irrotational field f bar is del phi is equal to f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz see the formula for obtaining scalar potential phi for an irrotational field f bar irrotation means when del cross f bar is zero then in that case how to find a scalar potential phi uh, for the field f bar is 
del f is equal to del phi is equal to f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz. And then on integrating, we can find the scalar potential phi. It is equal to integration f1 dx while integrating the first component f1, you keep y and z constant plus integration f2 dy while integrating f2, you keep uh, z constant and the f2 term, it must be free from x plus integration f3 dz uh, while integrating f f3 the terms f3 the f3 must be free from x and y then you integrate it with respect to z so this is the integration of d phi so this is the rule now the examples show that f bar is equal to xi plus yj upon x square plus y square is solenoidal as well as irrotational evaluate integration f bar dot dr bar we have to first show that the vector given vector f bar is solenoidal we have to show it is solenoidal it means you show that del dot f bar is zero then and then we can say it is solenoidal now f bar is equal to xi cap plus yj cap upon x square plus y square now we separate the, both the terms in numerator xi cap upon x square plus y square plus yj cap upon x square plus y square separate these two terms now to show that f bar is solenoidal to show that it is solenoidal means you show that del dot f bar is zero now you consider the term del dot f bar what is del del is the operator and its value is this bracket term del by del x into i cap plus del by del y into j cap plus del by del z into k cap dot f bar f bar is this given vector okay so these are the two separate terms of f bar now you solve this term solve this dot product now del by del x i i cap dot i cap is one del by del x of x upon x square plus y square plus j dot j is one so del by del y of y upon x square plus y square plus del by del z of the uh, in f bar the term of k cap is absent so the coefficient of k cap is zero so del by del z derivative of derivative of zero with respect to z is zero so the third term is absent here there are only term two terms x upon x square plus y square y upon x square plus y square and uh, there are only these two terms so in first term we take the derivative of x by x x square plus y square with respect to x and in second term we take the derivative of y upon y x square plus y square with respect to y now how to find the derivative use u upon v rule you know u upon v rule this v means denominator term as it is into derivative of numerator term derivative of x with respect to x is one minus x as it is this numerator term as it is in bracket derivative of denominator term with respect to x is 2x upon denominator term whole square plus same for the second term derivative with respect to y. We are finding the derivative with respect to y at that time keep x constant. So denominator term uh, here x square plus y square as it is I into derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus now y as it is derivative of x square plus y square with respect to y is 2y upon x square plus y square whole square. Now we simplify these two terms. We simplify this numerator term in first one. In x square plus y square minus 2x square means x y square minus x square upon x square plus y square whole square plus second term x square plus y square minus 2y square is x square minus y square upon x square plus y square whole square and denominator is same so you do the addition of numerator and it is equal to zero so f bar is solenoidal so f bar is solenoidal in the same example where to show it is also irrotational now to show that it is irrotational you consider del cross f bar now to find uh, this cross product del cross f bar there is a determinant in the first row is i cap j cap k cap second row is del by del x del by del y del by del z and third row it con contains the coefficients of i cap j cap k cap in f bar and the coefficients are of i cap j cap and k cap are x upon x square plus y square y upon x square plus y square and zero respectively so you put here that coefficients of f bar in third row the third coefficient is zero now we solve this determinant term you know how to solve the determinant now i cap as it is derivative of zero with respect to y is zero minus derivative of z with respect to uh, derivative of 
y upon x square plus y square with respect to z is zero. So the first term zero, middle term minus j into derivative of zero with respect to x is zero minus derivative of x upon x square plus y square with respect to z is zero. So middle term is also zero plus k cap in bracket. Derivative of y upon x square plus y square with respect to x minus derivative of x upon x square plus y square with respect to y. Now you solve this third term. First two terms are zeros. K cap as it is. Now derivative of y upon x square plus y square with respect to x. It is uh, using sorry here derivative is with respect to x. So y is constant. So numerator is constant. So derivative of this denominator one upon x square plus y square is here. This y as it is, numerator y as it is, minus one upon x square plus y square whole square into composite derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x is two x minus the derivative of x upon x square plus y square with respect to y is we are uh, differentiating it with respect to y. So keep x constant. So numerator term x constant. So x as it is, derivative of one upon x square plus y square with respect to y is. Minus one upon x square plus y square whole square into composite derivative of y square is two y, right? Two y in numerator. Now simplify this term, and you will get it minus two x y upon x square plus y square whole square plus minus minus plus two x y upon x square plus y square whole square. Now numerator terms are uh, here minus two x y plus two x y. Denominator terms are same, so the terms get cancelled. Denominator is same. So numerator addition to x y minus to x y zero. So del cross f bar is zero. Thus f bar is irrotational. F bar is irrotational. As f bar is irrotational, there exists a scalar potential phi of f bar such that f bar is equal to del phi, where phi is equal to you know we have discussed uh, in starting how to find that scalar potential phi. Its formula is integration f one dx where y z constant plus integration f two dy. Where z constant and term of f two free from x, sorry, here z constant and terms of f two free from x and third term integration f three terms of f three free from x and y. Integration is with respect to z. Now put here the values of f one, f two, f three. You know what is f one, what is f two? F one is here. You see the vector f bar. F bar is this vector. The coefficient with i cap is f1. The coefficient with j cap is f2, and the coefficient with k cap is f3. So f1 is your x upon x square plus y square. Put here f1 is equal to x upon x square plus y square dx plus f2. The terms of f2 free from x. F2 contains the terms of x. See the term with j cap is. Here f2. This y upon x square plus y square is your f2, but it contains the variable x. So the terms free from x are zero terms there. So you write here zero terms free from x. F2 terms. F, the terms of f2 free from x are zero here. So zero. F3 is already absent. So the third term is also zero. Now you integrate that x upon X square plus y square with respect to x because the differential is here dx. We integrate it with respect to x. Integrating we get x x upon x square plus y square. Uh, here derivative of denominator term is two x. Derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x is two x. So that uh, if we multiply and divide this term by two, one by two into two x, the derivative of denominator term is adjusted in numerator. So it is one by two into log of x square plus y square. And so this is the scalar potential phi here, which is it is our was our aim. So this example is over here. The second example is again show that f bar e is equal to the vector is two x z cube plus six y into i cap plus six x minus two y z into j cap plus three x square z square minus y square into k cap is irrotational. Find scalar potential phi such that f bar is equal to del phi. Now to show that f bar is irrotational, that is to show that del cross f bar is equal to zero. Now to show that del cross f bar is zero, because we have to show the vector f bar is irrotational. To show del cross f bar is zero, so here you uh, form a determinant. Del cross f bar is equal to determinant first row i cap, j cap, k cap. Second row, 
the coefficients of operator del and the coefficients are we know that in previous exam also we have written del by del x del by del y del by del z f bar the coefficients of i cap j cap k cap in f bar f bar the coefficient of i cap this is f1 the coefficient of j cap this is f2 and the coefficient of k cap it is f3 so you write down there all the values in third row okay now you solve this determinant del cross f bar it is equal to i cap into derivative of 3x square z square minus y square with respect to y it is minus 2y minus derivative of this 6x minus 2y z with respect to z it is again minus 2y middle term for middle term give negative sign, sign minus j in bracket derivative of 3x square z square minus y square with respect to x it is 6x z square minus derivative of 2x z cube plus 6y with respect to z it is minus 6x z square plus k cap uh, into derivative of 6x minus 2y z with respect to x it is 6 minus derivative of 2x z cube plus 6y with respect to y it is 6. Now you solve this term uh, if we solve the first term minus 2y plus 2y get cancelled then for middle term 6x z square minus 6x z square get cancelled third term 6 minus 6 0 so del cross f bar is 0 so f bar is a rotational here therefore there exists a scalar potential phi such that f bar is equal to del f okay now you know how to find the scalar potential phi the formula is here phi is equal to integration f1 dx plus integration f2 dy plus integration f3 dz and the conditions are here to while integration it is written here now what is f1 integration f1 means coefficient of i cap in f bar these are the values of f1 f2 and f3 now you put here the values of f1 f2 f3 here now f1 dx is 2x z cube plus 6y into dx plus middle term f2 uh, we uh, add the terms only uh, term free from x from f2 now see what is f2 here f2 is here 6x minus 2yz we want the terms of f2 free from x so first term contains x so omit this 6x term only calculate minus 2yz means you consider only minus 2yz so write here minus 2yz into dy plus integration f3 dz f3 uh, the terms of f3 free from x and y you see what is f3 here f3 is 3x square z square minus y square both the terms first term contains x second term contains y do you want the terms of f3 free from x and y so the, there are zero terms which are free from x and y in f3 so write down here zero now you integrate the uh, function here in first integration y and z are constant only the variable is x so integration of x is x square by 2 2 z cube constant so 2 x square z cube by 2 plus 6 y constant integration of dx is x so total integration is plus 6 x y minus middle term minus 2 constant uh, in middle integration while integration f2 z is constant so z is also constant minus 2 is also constant uh, integration of y is y square by 2 okay and the last term is 0 so if we simplify the term phi is equal to x square z cube plus 6 x y minus y square z so this is the scalar potential phi which we required to, which was our aim find the scalar potential if f bar is e rotational okay so this these are the examples of solenoidal and e rotational vector field and this topic divergence and curl of a vector point function is over here thank you